We begin tonight with Mecca Faitari. A short time ago, the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern announced Ms Faitari had been stripped of her ministerial roles, but will remain on as an MP and as co-chair of Labor's Māori Caucus. The Ikaroa Rafati MP was involved in an altercation with a staff member in Gisborne in August. Some of the facts of that incident are disputed by Ms Faitari, but the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern says she's lost confidence in her. She announced that decision from her ninth floor Beehive office just a short time ago. I've brought you here today um, that to advise that uh, Mika Faitari uh, will be removed as a minister with uh, immediate effect. The decision was made after receiving a report into an incident that occurred on 27 August in Gisborne involving Mika Faitari and one of her staff. While the facts are in dispute, the report says an incident occurred. Mika Faitari continues to contest contest details of the incident, but there are elements which are agreed. For privacy reasons, I don't wish to divulge further details of the investigator's report as it is an employment matter and protecting the privacy of the staff member involved is paramount uh, to me. Based on the context and conclusions of the report, I no longer have confidence in Mika Faitari as Minister at this time this is why I have taken the action I have. Mika Faitari was stood aside from her portfolios on 30 August while the investigation was undertaken. Chris Farfoy will retain the role of Minister of Customs and Mika Faitari's Associate Minister responsibilities will sit with the lead portfolio ministers. There are no plans to undertake a cabinet reshuffle. That's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. Uh, now, Checkpoint has been unable to reach Mecca Faitari or co-chair of the Māori Caucus, Willie Jackson, for comment. But we are lucky to be joined by RNZ political editor Jane Patterson, who joins us live now from our gallery office. Good evening to you, Jane. Good evening, Alex. Now, have we got any more detail about what actually happened in this incident in Gisborne? So part of the challenge with the situation was that it did occur at an event related to a Crown Hui in Gisborne on August the 27th, but I understand that there were no witnesses to the alleged altercation. So basically the investigation, it came down to interviewing Mika Faitari and interviewing her former press secretary. Well, we believe she is former. The Prime Minister wouldn't go into details about her employment. So it really came down to a she said, she said situation but clearly from the Prime Minister today there was enough in that report that she no longer has confidence in that Minister. Um, there will be another a, a redacted version of that report released later which may shed some light on it. But Ms Ardern was very clear to say that Mika Faitari did contest some elements of that incident. So she said there wasn't an incident, something happened, um, but those facts are still contested. So still um, a lot of questions around that actual situation and actually what, what transpired that day. So Jane, a second minister has gone in as many weeks. How do you think the Prime Minister has handled this situation? Look, in the situation, Ms Ardern has acted swiftly. She got the report last night and called a media conference today. There have been a flurry of announcements this week, of course, before the Prime Minister leaves for the UN and for the General Assembly. And this would have been a situation that she would have wanted to have dealt with before she left. Internal Affairs, who carried out this, uh, or Ministerial Services, who carried out this report, were given a three-week deadline, and that deadline ended tomorrow. So there was time pre on there. But look, I think uh, she has um, acted to remove uh, Mika Faitari. Um, whether or not there was a solid conclusion in that report, we're still not sure. But I think that in this situation, amid uh, criticisms of her leadership perhaps with the situation around the former Minister Claire Curran that she hadn't acted enough. Um, I think in this situation she has moved quickly and um, has clearly taken quite a hard line against her former Minister. Yes, certainly seemed very firm in that press conference just this afternoon. She did refer to releasing a version of the report. Do you know when that's going to happen? So we've been told it probably won't be very quickly um, because the redactions have to be made and they primarily, as I understand it, relate to references to the uh, presec involved in this incident. The Prime Minister said that her privacy was paramount. As I said, she wouldn't talk about whether she's still employed in Parliament or elsewhere. So the 
process will have to be followed to go back to the various parties once that redact redacted report is uh, prepared by ministerial services. Uh, the parties will have to be consulted and then the report will have to come back. So it could still be a matter of at least weeks before we see that redacted version of that report. Thank you very much for the update, Jane. Jane Patterson there, our political editor.